5.1 grams of TiO2 in her head. Okay, and the patient asked for formula units. Now, this part here, formula units, that's another term for what? On our concept map. Representative partners. What it is the special number for representative partners? Good. Okay, so then I know that there was three steps here that I told you with these multi-step. Okay, this is a multi-step. How do I know this is a multi-step? Because I have mass, right? This is the quantity of mass, and this is the quantity of representative partners. This is what you missed yesterday because you're not here. The only way to go between mass and representative particles is to go between the chemistry C, the county C. And the county C is moles. So this is the two-step problem. You have to be able to recognize that. So when I told you the summary of the two steps is to divide by special number. The second step is to multiply a special number. That's the basic. Uh, process that we're going to do. And so in the first step, we're going to take 5.1 grams of TiO2. And I need to know one mole of TiO2. Beth Kaylee, you have your calculator? Yes. One mole of TiO2 equals to one times the mass of Ti, which is, we got the table. 47.9 grams. One times 47.9 plus one times or two times 16. So then the mass of this thing is going to be, let's do it right down here, one mole of TiO2 equals, take 32 plus 47.9. What do you get? 38. What you got? Yes. Okay. 79.9 grams. So notice that this is here. So what goes in the bottom? The only thing that goes in the equivalent statement is what I have. The only thing that goes in the first factor is what I have in the equivalent statement. So then one mole T over two over 79.9 grams. This is the first step. Look, look at this, the of the special number, okay? Anybody know what we got there? Do you remember? Somebody take 5.15 to 79.9. Okay, so what is the mass of TiO2? Okay, so we went through the county seat. Then we'll turn around and convert that. to represent particles. Remember that the second step is to multiply the special number if I want. Represent particles, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And this would be formula units. Of TiO2 divided by one mole of TiO2. So what do we get here? Uh, 3.85 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, only units TiO2. This was the first step here that we talked about, right here. Divide by the special number, and this was the second step. Multiply by the special number. How do I know what the special number is? It's according to what quantity I'm talking about. I'm talking about mass, the special number for the final periodic table. I'm talking about representative particles, the special number is 6.23 So that's how you do one and two. If you weren't here yesterday, that's what we covered. Okay? Alright, now let's talk about number three. Number three, uh, we get this. 
from Avogadro's hypothesis, one mole of any gas A always takes up a volume of 22.4 liters at SDP. And remember that SDP is standard temperature, pressure temperature is uh, 0 degrees Celsius and pressure is 118. If you look at the concept map over here, uh, we have added a new addition to the concept map. Make sure you don't feel me students. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, we've added part here. Now we've got volume. So essentially we talked about yesterday, if I'm at SDP, if I want moles, first of all, if you want moles with any quantity, you start with one of these outside quantities, if you want moles, what, what do you do? What's your mathematical calculation? Divide, that's right. So if this is my quantity and I want moles, the special number for volume is 22.4. So if this is my quantity and I want moles, I divide by 22.4. All right? Uh, if I have moles and I want this quantity, I do what? Multiply. So anytime you're at moles and you're working out, it's always multiplied. Anytime you're at one of these quantities and you're working in, it's always divided. If you remember, three ways to measure matter, chapter 10. What is it? By volume, by mass, and by count. Now I'll show you how we convert between those three uh, measurements in chemistry. So let me do a couple of these. So what we have here is, or uh, what I'll do one of uh, in this first question here, find the volume. 13.8 moles of CO2. So I recognize that the two, I recognize the two quantity is moles and volume. And I say, what is my special number? 22.4. Then I say, what does it ask me to, or where does it ask me to go to? Volume. Starting at moles, going to volume, clearly I can say to myself, self, multiply 22.4. Okay? So since I want volume, I'm going to put 22.4 in the top. And one mole, uh, whatever gas we have here at CO at the bottom, bring down my given 13.8 moles. Remember, what goes here must go at CO. So, see, so I check myself there before I wreck myself. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> before I wreck my quiz. See how I did that? I checked that 13.8 moles and it should be CO. Goes here, it's got to go there. Okay? Uh, and our answer here is, what is the answer key? Somebody remember? On that answer key, somebody calculate that. Real quick. Just take that number. 309.12. Huh? 309.12. Okay? So I'm going to do the other one just real quick. So I'm converting back to one of the other one. Uh, I'm going to take, uh, since I'm starting with volume and I want moles, I'm going to one mole of any gas, in this particular instance it's O2 gas, over 22.4 liters. I'm going to be divided by liters if I start with liters. So we've got 694 liters of O2. The liters of O2 are going to cancel, and I'm going to get the number of moles. Okay? Do I need to do this one for a review from yesterday? This one you guys struggle with. What are my two quantities? Moles and molecules. All right, so the magic number, the special number between moles and molecules is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of O2. Now, question asking me to go to, question asking me to go to number of moles. So then this part of the expression goes to the top. And I don't want you to put just one mole, I need to know who it is. One mole of what? One mole of O2. Okay? Uh, so then in the bottom goes the other part of the expression. How did I know this? Because I memorized that if I'm talking about representative particles, 6.022 is my special number. Times 10 to the 23rd. Times 10 to the 23rd. Times 10 to the 23rd. Bring down your given, which was 1.4. Now, where did we have the problem yesterday that I had to clear up? That's times 1024. Where did we have the problem yesterday? You remember? Where's your problem at? It's a calculator, yeah. This is, when I write this number out in the calculator, for those that were not here yesterday, it's 1.4 E. Twenty-four. And that number is usually second comma. On, your, on the TI-8283s. Good. 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 Good.